Hey guys, today I'm uh, going to teach you how to make a basic map in Counter-Strike. So once you open up your source SDK, you just go into Hammer. And get a new map open. Basically there's four views. You have your 3D view, your top, your front, and your side. If you right click camera, there's different types of 3D views. I like 3D shaded texture polygons. Um, well, first thing we're going to do is make the floor. So you want to do the brush tool or block tool. And then select the texture for it. Um, I always start off making no draw for all my brushes because it's the best way to optimize your maps. Because in game, it you know won't draw the texture. So on faces that we don't need the texture, it won't be there. Now if you don't see it on your 3D screen, you can hit this little camera right here and uh, kind of just point it somewhere on your brush and it'll pop up. Alright, now to make it so the floor we want isn't a no draw, you do your it's a texture application, but you want the face edit sheet. So just leave everything out as and click the side you want to change and hit browse for a texture. I'll just type in grass. We'll use this one. Hit apply. So now we have the actual floor grass and everything else as a no draw. So you can see how keep it optimized instead of rather making the whole thing grass. Um, you can obviously resize it in here. And we'll make the walls now. So same thing, we'll use no draw. Go to our block tool. Got to resize the top up a little bit. You can hit enter to create it or just right click it and create object. Now there's one kind of handy trick I suppose you could say is uh, when you're creating objects, the last one you have selected, when you go to create a new block, it keeps the dimensions of the last object you had selected. So you can see how it's like the same size as that one. If I have this selected, then create a block. It's now the same size as this one when I had selected. So just create that. And you can just copy these two over by selecting this, hold shift, and then drag it to where you want it, and it copies it. So I'm going to hold shift, drag this over here, and now I'm going to make these a brick wall. So type brick, select the faces you want, you can just control click to add another face. Go back to our brick texture, hit apply. All right. Now I need a skybox. And that's so obviously it adds a sky. Because if we don't, you'll just see like pretty much nothing and it'll be very ugly looking. So just type in tools, space, skybox. And we'll add it to the top of this one. There we go, we have our skybox set up. Now we need to set up the spawn points. I'm just going to add one for each team. 
you usually want 16 for both teams for a 32 player map. Um, so you, you'll click the entity tool and just type in info underscore player and then you'll have terrorist and counter terrorist for the both teams. So we'll put a counter terrorist here and it shows you I usually start out with one of these on my maps just to get the correct map size, you know, make sure how how big a room is for fitting a player through and whatnot. This kinda scales my map better. Put a terrorist over here. And I'll also show you different shapes. So just besides the blocks that we have been using, you can do cylinders, spheres, spikes, torus wedges, arches. And just play around with them. You kinda have to just use it to get used to it really. I'm just gonna go ahead and make this into a ball. Texture it. If you want to click, this is to apply current texture if you want to do it to the whole thing rather than just a specific face. So now you can see the whole thing is my rock texture. You can also do separate ones with the face tool. Alright, and that's your. Uh, Pretty basic map. Just go ahead and hit F9 to run your map, or you can just go to File, Run Map, and it'll load it up and you can test it out. Alright, thanks for watching.